And guys, also to announce, the chick finally has a name. Thanks to you guys who voted, Mabuhay Squad, the chick's name is now. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hope. Yes. Hi, Hope. I like that name. By vote, you guys voted for Hope. Personally, I was hoping for Chicken Joy, but Hope will do. <laughs> yes, Hope. It, Hope can be a female's name, and I suppose it could be a rooster's name too, because we don't know the gender. We don't know the if this is a boy or a girl yet. Yes, Hope. She's sleepy. <laughs> also, speaking of all of you guys who are always helping and commenting and watching these daily vlogs, we really appreciate it, right the guys? So much, because we really feel like you guys are part of the family. And if you have watched more than three of our vlogs and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, it's free. And hey, look, subscribe to us and stick around for like a month. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe easily, right? We do see in the analytics that a lot of you guys are watching the vlogs consistently and you're not subscribed yet. And if you don't know how to subscribe, basically there's a subscribe button that you just have to hit. You boop. And if you want notifications of every single day when the video is uploaded, hit the bell right beside. There's like a bell button beside the subscribe button. By the way guys, welcome to the vlogs if you're new mm -hmm, and you're wondering what this is all about. My name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. Over there, back there, is Jaya, the editor of the vlogs. Mm -hmm. And this is Kuya Ryan, Morning. our driver. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button, of course. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Basically, these vlogs are like everyday life vlogs, lifestyle vlogs, if you will. And every day is different, guys. Like, it's always changing. We're here in Manila, Philippines, you see? A nation of over 7,000 islands out in Southeast Asia. We love animals, we love food, we love travel, charity work. We have other YouTube channels that we handle. And this kind of like is the behind the scenes of life of, I guess, of YouTubers. We've got a farmhouse being built out in the countryside in a place called Cavite. Can't wait because we're gonna have lots and lots of animals, gonna grow lots of food. It's gonna be so fun. So again, guys, join the family. Be, do you like the name Hope? Mm -hmm. It means Pagasa. In Tagalog, it's Pagasa. But was that the name you were rooting for? Not really, but... What name did you want? <laughs> Survivor. <laughs> hey, you know what? It'll be interesting to find out if this chick is a male or a female. If it's a male, definitely we can't keep it at the condo. It will be crowing like crazy. Jaya, what name were you voting for? I voted for Chicken Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call the chicken Chicken Joy uh, for obvious reasons. How about Ryan? Ryan, of all the names between Chicken Joy, Survivor, Tinola, Tinola and, and Hope. <laughs> and <those>. I? <laughs> Now we are here, of course, at European Aesthetics. You guys know this place. We come here as often as we can to, you know, take care of our skin, take care of our face. For me, I do stretch marks. RJ does his like legs. And there's someone special I'd like you to meet. Guys, hi. meet Doctora Doris. Yes, hi. Yes. Hi, Doc. Thank nice you so you. much. Hi, yes. She is the owner of this entire clinic. Yes. And first off, I have to tell you, thank you so much for taking care of RJ and I. Okay, very much welcome, Mikey. Yeah, and um, the technology just blows my mind. I love it. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, guys, this is Doctora. If you guys ever come to European Aesthetics, look for Doctora. Yeah. And um, the staff here are very capable of recommending what you might need and all of this and we really trust them. So. Yeah. Guys, speaking of technology, I'm looking at some of the serums that they use during the RF treatment, the Nanic RF treatment um, that they've been doing on my face and my stretch marks and a lot of you guys um, are women or men who are looking to get rid of stretch marks. Yes. The reason why it's really working is because of the serums they use for this Nanic RF technology. So RF technology and Nanic, this apparently it's common 
yes. in, in other clinics, but what makes it unique here at European is the use of the very specific serum. serum. So, yes. for example, if you have acne, they would use impure skin. Yes. And if you have stretch marks like me, it would be striae mixed with the flaccid. Yes. If you have some fat skin. deposits, use the fat reduction serum. Oh, really? You can only, get rid of fat? Yes. It's the only RF machine using those specific type of serums. Oh. Yes. That's our difference from other skin clinics. Oh, wow. Yeah. The technology is awesome. And yeah. you said this is Belgian technology? Yes, it's a Belgian technology. And another thing is that um, it's very safe, Mikey. We okay. use this machine as a capacitive energy transfer. Well, it's very technical, but meaning it's very safe for your vital organs. Oh, yeah. good. Even the probe, it can pass through your eyes. If you have active acne, we can use the RF. Oh, my. Yeah. That makes us very unique. Interesting. Well, yeah, guys, like seriously, this, these treatments have been an eye-opener as to how you can defeat the effects yeah. of like aging and, yeah. you know, like slimming also. Slimming. I would like some face slimming. Yeah, yeah. And contouring, huh? <laughs> and contouring, yeah, yeah. To make your jawline prominent. Oh my gosh, guys, remember that vlog? I like came out of there and all of a sudden I had a jawline and like cheekbones and all of this yeah. the technology is crazy yeah and it's not painful huh not painful yeah. i fell asleep it's very safe and it's made in belgium wow yeah. wow 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 you belgians you you guys are blowing my mind right now yeah let's do this Guys, I my face shrank first of all, and it looks so clear. We just finished what the nanic. Oh my gosh, wow, it's like a different person, and now we're doing something else. Doctora, what are we doing? So we're going to put nanic anti-stress mask to Mikey, so to remove all the freed radicals of the skin okay. and to make her skin relaxed also. Okay, so free radicals are bad for the skin. Of course, it's and they come. Aging, huh? Oh, does it? Yeah. And free radicals come from where? Pollution. Pollution, smoking, alcohol. No, I'm sorry. Alcohol has free radicals. Yeah, it can promote free radical formation if you are drinking a lot. I see. But in moderation, it's okay. Yeah. I wonder How what does it feel constitutes like moderation. It's freezing. Yeah. But oh, I like the smell of it. Oh, yes. and it's so thick. It has no preservative. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. Mm, and I like the color blue, my favorite. Oh, and it's so cold. Yeah, later, we're gonna close your eyes, huh? <laughs> Oh, it is freezing! <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's... And so this is supposed to remove free radicals. Oh, okay. Interesting, Mabuhay squad. I can't wait to see the result! Close your eyes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. I'm free. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so relaxing though. I fell asleep. Feel good? Oh, I feel good. And it looks so clear. Yeah. Interesting. I do. Yeah, my jawline. <gasps> yeah, my jawline and cheekbones are back. Now. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. My face like shrank. Awesome. And treated for the stretch marks and it's all done. Guys, once again, European aesthetics here in Makati. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Mabuhai Squad, I'd like you to meet a fellow Mabuhai Squad who happens to be here while we're here. It's a pleasure meeting you. What's your name? Claire. Claire, you see? And you found out about this place because of the vlogs. Yes. Awesome. And are you are you satisfied? Very, very, very. All right. So guys, if you ever do come here, just say Mabuhay Squad sent you. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right. Well, it's a pleasure meeting Same you. Thank you. Thank you. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Oh, RJ, we're twinning today. Yeah. <laughs> That was not done on purpose. Good morning, a new day. Yes, had a wonderful pampering. Oh, my face feels fresh and tightened. <laughs> There's the guys. Hi, Ligaya. Mm. Mm. Yes. He just wants scratches, this one. Such a good bird. Good, good bird. So, as you know, Ligaya is molting. Every now and then, she'll lose one of her upper feathers. We took a shower yesterday, both of us, so her coat could be nice and healthy and clean. Um, and let's check up on the chick. Yay! Look at you, you're, you're so fat. Yes, sorry, I'm disturbing you. Go ahead, go sleep. She's been eating lots, drinking lots, sleeping lots, and pooping lots. Like this was literally changed five minutes ago, and here she is pooping like crazy. But she is getting bigger. I, I love, I love how big you're getting. Like, it's like every day you grow and look more and more like a chicken. That's right, Hope. The Mabuhay Squad loves you, Hope. Mm-hmm. We can't wait to see you grow into a large chicken. And one of you guys um, who's had a lot of experience raising this species of chicken said that she is definitely a female, just based on how she looks right now. I forgot who it was, but in a previous vlog of this chick, I pinned the comment because this Mabuhay Squad member posted a photo of a male chick at her age, and yeah, clearly looks different from her. Um, you could tell by the crest. Uh, so this is going to be a female, yay! Well, let's hope anyway. And RJ and I are gonna look for chicken diapers. <laughs> We're gonna try. We're gonna try this. So today is kind of crazy because we are scrambling to get our stuff together. The Ants Canada team and I are working hard to upload this week's video and to film next week's video. So I gotta go out today and like run around and buy stuff um, and film tonight. And it's just, it's crazy guys today because as you guys know, we're going to Toronto, Canada and we'll be going to Montreal. A bit about that in a sec, in a couple days. So, we gotta hurry. Going to Toronto, Canada because I'm attending my best friend's wedding. <laughs> You remember Kimmy? Um, well, she's getting married with her fiance Bernard and this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to go home and see my family. Um, RJ's coming and Raquel is coming. She'll be visiting Canada for the very first time. You guys know my cousin Raquel, right? In these vlogs. So this is gonna be epic. And what's gonna be even more epic is we're going to Montreal. Yes! Yeah, isn't that cool? I know, Montreal, my monk. Hey listen, all of you Mabuhay squad in Montreal, I'm having a meet and greet there. And details are on this poster. Hit it, Jay! So guys, September 21st, all of you guys in the Montreal area, mark your calendars. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to meet you, hang out, take selfies, all of that. That should be fun. Um, and I can't wait to be in Montreal. Seriously, I miss Montreal. I miss Canada in general. So yeah, this the household is going crazy right now. Of course, Ligaya and all my pets, the chick, will be taken care of by Ate Elsie and um, RJ sisters, Jane and Judith. So everything, all bases are covered. Turns out we're not going to be leaving our chick with Ryan. Um, one, because uh, you guys were saying that hens with chicks won't adopt other chicks. They'll like attack other chicks, something or other. And Ryan said that he could separate this chick. Um, but we figured, hey, you know what? Why don't this chick just stay here? She's already comfortable. She loves this place. She loves the condo. And also, it'll give us a chance to film the chick and Ligaya, so that while we're in Canada, you guys can also see what's going on here in Manila with these two birds, you know what I'm saying? We can both, we can all watch the chick grow and while we're filming the Canada series. All right, now, Mabuhay Squad. RJ and I have something special to show you. It's so cool. I didn't know this existed. I'm excited, actually. Yeah, all of us are. It's sitting here right on the table. It's something that came to us in the mail. Um, and for all of you people who are bird owners, I think you guys might find this invention, this device, pretty amazing. Check it out. 